Yahudith, Judith 16. Then Yahudith began to sing this thanksgiving in all Yashadael, and all the people sang after her this song of praise. And Yahudith said, Begin unto my Elohim with timbrels, sing unto my Adonai with cymbals, tune unto him a new psalm, exalt him, and call upon his name. For Elohim breaks the battles, for among the camps in the midst of the people he has delivered me out of the hands of them that persecuted me. Ashur came out of the mountains from the north, he came with ten thousands of his army, the multitude whereof stopped the torrents, and their horsemen had covered, rather have covered the hills. He bragged that he would burn up my borders and kill my young men with the sword and dash the sucking children against the ground and make my infants as a prey and my virgins as a spoil. But El Shaddai Yahuwah has disappointed them by the hand of a woman. For the mighty one did not fall by the young men, neither did the sons of the titans smite them, nor high giants set upon him. But Yahudith, the daughter of Merai, weakened him with the beauty of her countenance. For she put off the garment of her widowhood for the exaltation of those that were oppressed in Yashadael, and anointed her face with ointment, and bound her hair in attire, and took a linen garment to deceive him. Her sandals ravished his eyes, her beauty took his mind prisoner, and the fachian passed through his neck. The Persians quaked at her boldness, and the Madai were daunted at her hardiness. Then my afflicted shouted for joy, and my weak ones cried aloud, but they were astonished. These lifted up their voices, but they were overthrown. The sons of the damsels have pierced them through and wounded them as fugitives' children. They perished by the battle of Yahuwah. I will sing unto Yahuwah a new song. O Yahuwah, you are great and glorious, wonderful in strength and invincible. Let all creatures serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You did send forth your Ruach, and it created them, for there is none that can resist your voice. For the mountains shall be moved from their foundations with the waters, the rocks shall melt as wax at your presence. Yet you are merciful to them that fear you, for all sacrifice is too little for a sweet savor unto you, and all the fat is not sufficient for your burnt offering, but he that fears Yahweh is great at all times. Woe to the nations that rise up against my kindred. Yahweh Savaoth will take vengeance of them in the day of judgment, in putting fire and worms in their flesh, and they shall feel them and weep forever. Now as soon as they entered into Yahushalayim, they worshipped Yahweh, and as soon as the people were purified, they offered their burnt offerings and their free offerings and their gifts. Yahudith also dedicated all the stuff of Holofernes, which the people had given her, and gave the canopy, which she had taken out of his bedchamber, for a gift unto Yahuwah. So the people continued feasting in Yerushalayim, before the sanctuary for the space of three months, and Yahudith remained with them. After this time, everyone returned to his own inheritance, and Yahudith went to Beit Uliah, and remained in her own possession, and was in her time honorable in all the country. And many desired her, but none knew her all the days of her life. After that, Manasseh, her man, was dead and was gathered to his people. But she increased more and more in honor and waxed old in her man's house, being a hundred and five years old, and made her maid free. So she died in Beit Uliah, 
and they buried her in the cave of her man, Manashehe. And the house of Yashar'el lamented her seven days, and before she died, she did distribute her goods to all them that were nearest of kindred to Manashehe, her man, and to them that were the nearest of her kindred. And there was none that made the children of Yashadael any more afraid in the days of Yahudith, nor a long time after her death. <laughs>